your public library's Thinkers and Tinkers Lab Home Edition. As always, I'm Jen, and I'm with you every Tuesday at 2 p.m. with fun STEAM activities. So that's science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics activities that you can do at home. This week, we're investigating the S in STEAM, which stands for science. <laughs> we're exploring life cycles. So what is a life cycle? A life cycle is all of the stages that a living thing goes through in its lifetime. It's how it lives its life, how it changes and grows and all the things it does from the time it's born until the time it dies. That includes reproducing and starting the next generation. To better understand life cycles, let's head outside and look at a specific example. All right, thinkers and tinkers, I'm here today with some very special, fluffy and feathery friends, the chickens. <laughs> These lovely chickens live in their coop and every day they come out to play and eat and every night they go into their little hen house and they fall asleep and they're protected from predators like foxes or raccoons. Let's do a tour of the chicken's hen house. Here you can see the chickies play area where they like to peck at the cabbage, play on the tire, and jump up onto different obstacles. Isn't that right, chickies? Chickens love oatmeal. Let's take a peek inside. This is where the chickies sleep at night. They'll perch up on that beam or snuggle into the sawdust. Every morning we get to check for eggs. Shall we go take a look? Inside of this box are the chickens' nesting boxes. It's where they lay all of their eggs. Let's see if we have any for today. We do! These eggs are unfertilized. That means that there's no baby chickens growing inside of them. These are the eggs that we eat. have been busy and we got 12 eggs. Check out this little itty bitty one. <laughs> it's cool. 
quite a difference between some of the larger eggs and the smaller eggs. Kind of neat. That was a fun visit with the chickens. And now that we know a little bit more about them, we're a little bit more familiar with their day-to-day -day life, let's talk about their life cycle and its stages. Okay, the process all starts when a girl chicken meets a boy chicken. <laughs> so a hen and a rooster make an egg together. The hen, the female chicken, lays the egg in her nest. Then she sits on it to keep it all nice and warm until it hatches, just like this. Inside of that little cute egg, is a brand new chicken life that's starting to grow. That little chicken inside the egg is called an embryo. Let's take a look at that. to see what happens inside of an egg. So eventually, that little embryo that's growing will reach the size of a baby chicken, of a chick, and it'll outgrow its egg. It starts to get too big to fit in there, so it needs to hatch. Normally, it takes about 21 days for a little embryo to grow big enough that it's ready to hatch out of its egg. Let's watch a hatching chick. be all yellow and fluffy but over the next 18 weeks its feathers will start to change it will grow bigger and eventually it will become a mature adult chicken Once 
that chicken is fully grown, it can have eggs of its own and start the life cycle process all over again. Okay, now that we've talked about what a life cycle is and we've explored a life cycle, we looked at the life cycle of a chicken close up, it's time to talk about this week's activity. This week, I challenge you to pick an animal. It could be your favorite animal in the whole wide world. It could be an animal you think is super cute and fluffy. It could be an animal you think is gross and creepy. It could be an animal that lives in your backyard. It could be a pet. You could choose an animal that lives in the Arctic, an animal that lives under water, one that lives in the tropical environment, or one that lives in a rainforest. Whatever animal you choose is up to you. Then, you're going to create a project to show that animal's life cycle. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of what I mean. You could use emojis to show the life cycle of a chicken. You could use paper and markers to draw the life cycle of a tree. becomes a full tree, then eventually it will die and decompose going back into the soil to feed new trees and new plants with its nutrients. You could use Play-Doh to make a sculpture showing the life cycle of a frog. Okay, so our froggy starts out as an egg, hatches as a tadpole with a tail, grows its back legs but keeps its tail, then after it loses its tail becomes a full grown frog that can hop on land. Ultimately, you can choose any animal you like and use any materials that you want. If you need a little extra help or want to learn more about life cycles and the life cycles of different animals, check the description of this video. I've put links to a bunch of different resources and other videos that'll teach you more. Once you've created your life cycle project, share it with us, let us see. Upload a photo or a video Tag us, leave a comment, or anything else to get our attention. We would love to see your finished life cycle project. Well, Gravenhurst, that's all I had for you today. I want to thank you for watching and tell you that next week's Thinkers and Tinkers on Tuesday at 2 p.m. will be the last one of the summer. So I will see you next week with one last STEAM activity that you can do at home. Catch you next time, Gravenhurst.